This is the Cody Show, and I'm coming back at you with another video, and this is on none other than our head coach, Mike McCarthy, uh, coming to bring you this informative information on Mike McCarthy, and let's dive into it, and let's read this informative information. It say West Palm Beach, Florida. If he's antsy about, and he is the Mike McCarthy, if he is antsy about the current state of his roster, Mike McCarthy isn't showing it. That was the vibe coming from the Cowboys third year head coach on Tuesday as this free agency and draft cycle rolls along. It's not to say Mike McCarthy isn't working toward improvement as most of the league wraps up these annual owners meetings in Florida. Mike McCarthy was back in Texas preparing for a trip to Alabama's Pro Day. The Cowboys have made no bones about how much emphasis they're putting on this 2022 NFL draft class. All of that said, there remains plenty of speculation about how the Cowboys might continue to address their roster in free agency. If one thing sounds clear from talking to Mike McCarthy, it's that they don't plan to force anything. I think experience gives you the opportunity to be patient and we've got to be patient and just make sure we're adding the right fit for our football team, Mike McCarthy said. That's probably a hard thing for a fan to hear. The Cowboys parted ways with key contributors like Amari Cooper, Lyle Collins and Randy Gregory this spring and most of their signings have been the back been to bring back members of the 2021 team from the outsiders perspective the Cowboys could likely use some more help at receiver and they certainly could use some extra bodies on the offensive line we're where left guard and swing tackle are ob obvious problem spots. And while Mike McCarthy did acknowledge that, he said he's not sweating the issue. He's not worried about it. I don't know to throw the whole hand out there, but we're, we're not opposed to it. He said of signing an offensive lineman. I think the way it's been done in the past, my first two years here is we're going to look at all those opportunities where we're open for business. To his point, Mike McCarthy said the team signed Andy Dalton to be their backup quarterback on May the 2nd, two years ago. A full week after the 2021 NFL draft. He also noted the potential for a promotion from within as he mentioned both Josh Ball and Matt Farniak as names to remember in 2022. Kicker might be another story. Mike McCarthy allowed that the Cowboys were interested in bringing veteran Greg Zerline back on a reduced deal, but he opted to sign with the New York Jets this past weekend. As of right now, the team's only kicker is Chris Nagar, who has attempted one NFL field goal. We spent 
sometime yesterday on Kickers. So we'll probably be looking at a lot of different guys there, Mike McCarthy said. It'll be more of a volume opportunity that we go through with those guys. It's definitely a position that's a focus. Again, though there doesn't seem to be any rush, the Cowboys draft meeting began on April the 4th as they look to make the most of a deep draft class. In the meantime, perhaps their patient in the free agent market will pay off. All right. So, with that being said, you heard the informative information about what Mike McCarthy noted on uh, pertaining to the owner's meeting and what he's conducting and what he's doing. So, I had to bring you the proof. Like I say, that's what I do bring you informative information. And this is the coldest show in America and talking about America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. And this is Codis, your host. Salute. The proof is in the pudding. I'm out.